What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Kevin Ray Wilder, representing America. Yes, sir, I am back home in the U.S. of A. Uh, more specifically, Texas, the greatest state in the Union. Let me know, by the way, where you think I'm staying at in Texas. Um, yeah, it's curious to know your thoughts. Anyway, uh, I'm actually back here with my parents for a bit. Yeah, loser, 28-year-old Kevin Ray Water, living back with his parents. It is temporary, though, because I'm moving to Vegas in about a month and a half. But it's nice to be back here uh, for my birthday, which is coming up. I'll be 28 soon, and then for the holidays. So it should be a good time to be uh, back with family. Anyhow, uh, I don't show too much lifestyle, but I figure because I left Vietnam, and for those of you who are curious as to what the lifestyle is kind of like out there, I did kind of document my last week in Vietnam. So, um, and the flight coming over here, uh, all that good stuff. So this is like, <laughs> I guess, technically my first vlog that I've ever done. Um, but yeah, just, just go ahead and check it out. I'm probably the worst vlog you've ever seen, but uh, I definitely tried to show a bit of the lifestyle there. And I actually, got some clips from uh, other YouTube channels who are actually, or one specific YouTube channel, uh, Ninja Teacher, Alex, shout out to you, um, who's an actual like good vlogger. But uh, anyway, I'll just uh, kind of roll the footage here, show you a bit of what the lifestyle was like there. And I definitely plan to come back to Vietnam uh, or at least travel outside the US again uh, in the near future. But anyway, y'all, I'm back in the uh, US of A for uh, you know, indefinitely, I guess, at least for a few months, at least until like April or so. And then I'll decide what I want to do there. But, um, yeah. So stay tuned after the vlog. I'm going to give a few channel updates and, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoy. It's Kevin. Ah, hello. It's very bright out. This is uh, <laughs> one of my last nights in Vietnam, so just enjoying riding my motorbike around, you know, because it's uh, not really a thing in the U.S. unless you have like a high-powered motorcycle that goes like 70 miles an hour and you're very likely getting a fatal accident, so fuck that. Yeah, one of my last nights here, just trying to do one of those, some of those things that you can only do here and not in the U.S., you know. Yeah, I wonder if this has ever been done before. I'm sure you can't hear me because of the wind, but uh, a motorbike selfie.
shaving my beard because of uh, I have to take a bunch of flights over the next few days and the world's so stupid and is making you wear a mask even in an airport or even in a plane, whatever. So I don't want to deal with that. So anyway, almost two months of beard progress is going to be vanquished in an instant. Do I come forward? Close the door. Yeah. Here we go. Now, I'm gonna start. Yeah, I'll start with the mustache first. Ah, fuck. Time, baby. Everybody. Okay. We're actual final. I'm talking about that. You're talking to the doctor. So I'm with the notorious Coach Whitefield. You're not, dude, you're not helping with the white supremacist stereotype with the skinhead and the, and the white beater, man. Thank you. I'm trying to but get it's canceled. okay, you're, you're a Jew, so you can I'm get away to, with that. I'm trying to get canceled. Without being a white supremacist. But anyway, this is my last meal in Vietnam. Finishing up with uh, Pha, Pha Thai Nam. 
is called, apparently. Um, I'm probably the worst vlogger you will ever see on YouTube, but I'm trying to, yeah, yeah. In, insert predictable Coach White Bull dad joke. But anyway, uh, yeah, so this is the last meal. Again, I'm trying to vlog a bit of my last days in Vietnam, so I might as well vlog my last meal. And if you're gonna do a last meal here, Although there's a lot of Western food and a lot of variety available, especially in the biggest city in Vietnam, Saigon, you might as well finish off with a Vietnamese dish. You the feel classic. Me? The classic. The classic. The so classic y'all can see my reaction to how apparently this place is has good reviews. So let's see. It's good. Damn. Yeah, it's really good. Wow. Right on. Anyway, after this, we're gonna hop on our flights or go to the airport, and then the 24-hour trek back to the U United States of America, the greatest country that has ever existed. Um, we're gonna make that trek back, so. We're gonna make America great again. You have to wear your mask here. So Qatar is in the Middle East, but it's a really nice airport, really nice airline. I already had my first eight hour flight and then uh, my second flight is gonna be 16 hours back to the US, back to Texas. So at least it's one of the nicest airlines there are, but damn, this is a, definitely a hell of a journey. I just said bye to Coach White Pill because he's going to a different part of the country. Um, the him and I will link up again once we, uh, once Project, yeah, Project Vegas starts. But yeah, this is like the first time it's starting to feel real that I'm going back to the U.S. You know, I like it. All right, y'all, so that was basically all the footage that I had. Um, yeah, it's great to be back in the US and more specifically with streams and whatnot from now on, it's gonna be great being in a similar time, uh, time zone as y'all. So more than likely when I do my streams, they're gonna be a bit earlier than I have been doing it. And uh, some really awesome stuff coming soon for this channel, guys. Don't worry, I'm still gonna be doing my Manosphere roasts, the top lies of the Manosphere. I know a lot of you guys come for that content and it's uh, very valuable and important to make sure that you understand in terms of game and, tr and being a man uh, as a millennial, more specifically, you know what not to do more so than what to do, right? So much of this stuff is just how to not be a weak man in a society that encourages you to be weak, right? And um, as an extension of that on the internet, unfortunately, a lot of these Manosphere guys, they really are, um, they're still plugged into the Matrix, you know. Uh, they might have unplugged from the Matrix we're familiar with, but then they've replugged themselves back in and they try to replug you guys back into their ideology. And it's important to make sure that you understand the things not to do. And then by contrast, you have a good idea of what to do, um, which is why I'm never going to stop being critical of the Manosphere and more specifically bad ideas within the Manosphere. Um, so don't worry, that type of stuff's not changing, but the uh, I'm still gonna be adding in uh, different types of content rather than just critique videos of the Manosphere and reaction videos. I'm going to be doing a lot of video essays in depth soon and I think a lot of you guys are actually going to enjoy that. Um, I hope you do. Regardless, I'm going to make them anyway because I know I'm going to enjoy it and I know that it provides a lot of value. But uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, videos and streams will be regularly scheduled like they have before a few times a week. I'm glad to be back. It was nice to take a little bit of a, a break from YouTube, but uh, your boy's back. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Thanks for watching as always. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Peace out.